Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video here on Sam Cam's YouTube channel. Now today we're at the MKM Stadium for Hull City versus Stoke. And once again, I said this for our last game before the international break, but it's another big game at the top and bottom of the championship. Hull, seven games unbeaten with a team full of quality. Um, you know, pushing towards the playoffs, a win today would, would really, really push on their aspirations of finishing in the top six come May. Stoke looking to cement our place in the championship. I mean, it feels like I'm saying the same sort of things with Stoke every single week at the minute. We we take a step forward, get a win like away at Preston, and then when you've, you've got that chance at home to Norwich to then really sort of build the gap and build the bridge above the relegation zone, you then get battered 3-0 at home and, and you, you go back a couple steps. So, so today, if we could pull off a bit of a surprise win away at Hull, it would be absolutely massive and it would build a bit of a gap, a bigger gap anyway, above the drop zones in the EFL Championship. Players to look out for for Hull, I mean, it's, there's numerous quality players on that team. You've got Jaden Philogene Bedes, once a, a player on loan at Stoke. We know of his qualities, especially this season. He's really come into his own. Fabio Carvalho, probably one of the best young talents in, in, in the Championship by Country Mile on loan from Liverpool um, but no I think we've got a really difficult game today a lot of players coming back from the international break that aren't in the team due to tiredness I think we'll struggle today but fingers crossed we can pull off a bit of a shock let's get straight into the game today come on lads right just a quick warning actually sorry this is now after the game what an away day by the way but before we carry on, what you're about to see is why we missed the first like 10 minutes of the game, a bit, bit less than that. It was an absolute joke, but I didn't really explain it in the video, so it's, now it'll hopefully make sense. But yeah, cut to it. Right, well, now I'm in trouble with the tickets. Um, we're about to go in. Oh, right, there we go, we're back on. Well, we've got a new problem now. We went in the wrong entrance and they won't let us jump the queue. Even though we just queued all the way in that. Sorry, mate. Um, and now now we've got to wait in all of this. And the teams have come out. There. We'll get here half an hour into the game. If you ever come to Hull, you need to get here early because Dad! it's an absolute joke. The, the way this is run one. is shocking. Dad, Dad. Really, really poor. They've got um, to wait. Let's get off. Yeah, Surely. I know. So... I do apologise to the vlog, but there's nothing we can do, you know? No, I've watched your to... video since you were a nep or something. Oh, legend, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate that. Didn't I even notice you, Dan, until you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> this a joke. Have oh, you ever been on the way official coaches, have you? Yeah. No, no, we, I came down to the car, mate. Yeah, we have as well, but we've just been in the town centre and stuff, and yeah. I thought, oh, if you sound daddy back, it'd be all good. Yeah. And then... We've had one last our coach. He was in... Six, seven, oh, I, I cannot apologise enough for this. It's just the whole city oh, sort it out. It's an absolute joke. <laughs> between the two teams at the moment just both teams warming into the game in the opening 10 no real clear-cut chances but no, we, we don't look too far off it today it's just a decent start a real big opportunity there the first of the game really falling to Anna Sorori a player with great quality technical ability insane for him to pull that one out of the bags and massive letdown for Hull. Oh, 
way. Fucking hell. time here at the MKM Stadium, a whole city nil, Stoke nil, and to be honest the game has been really really flat so far, no team really looks like they've got that clinical edge with them today, it almost feels that after the international break everyone's still half asleep sort of game, you know Hull have shown glimpses of the quality they've got but, but like I say not really anything too special and, and I'll say the exact same thing about Stoke, we get in attacking areas but we don't look all too dangerous, we don't look like we're going to put the ball in the back of the net. But it's not too negative because I, 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 I can say the exact same thing for the whole city today, really. It's one of those games that it's, if it's going to be won, I think it's going to be by one goal. And you've just got to hope Stoke can be the one that's the one. Even if it's a corner, you know, a scrappy corner that's stabbed in from a yard out, but it gets you that big three points over the line. And that's the difference. It feels like it's going to be that sort of game where that is the difference between the two teams today. But fingers crossed for a good second half and a bit more exciting than that because that was, that was tedious. Come on, Steph. Dad Cam has got what is rated the best football food in the UK. Do you want to give it a taste or me? You. Me? Okay, okay. Right, here we go. We'll turn it round. To our trip review. Really, really nice. It's got some sort of like peri peri like coating on it, but it's banging. It's banging. So our little trip review because we've got nothing else to talk about. Now, if you ever do come to Hull, it is worth the hype, I suppose. It is good. But we only tried the waffle this for but they're decent. It's the only thing really exciting in this game so far. So. Smash it in! Oh, 
This relegation battle is very much almost over. So it's finished here at the MKM Stadium. Hull City nil, Stoke 2. And that is the performance that these sort of supporters absolutely love. When players are throwing their bodies on the line, the grit, the determination and the character to come off the bat before the international break with that 3-0 battering at home to Norwich and come to a team also well in playoff contention, perform like that come away with three points is absolutely fantastic a clean sheet two goals like i say three points you can't ask any more today but don't get ahead of yourself yet the job's not done this this league is tighter than ever this season and we have still got a big job to do but i hope you enjoyed the video here on sadcast youtube channel because i sure did please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe that's Sam Cam. peace out come on lads